did just that. Gretch? That'll get your attention. Thanks, Steve. Could the Chrysler restructuring plan set a dangerous precedent that could ultimately affect you? Pennsylvania Congressman Bill Schuster used to own a Chrysler car dealership before getting into politics, and he is my guest this morning. Good morning to you, Congressman. Good morning. All right, so I gather that you were against all of these bailouts if the end result was going to be bankruptcy for the car industry anyway. Uh, yes, I felt back in the fall of last year that the best course of action to, to, for these auto manufacturers were to go into bankruptcy. It gives them a fighting chance. They're able to shed some of the, uh, the contracts and some of the other things that they needed to get rid of to make them uh, be able to compete in the world. Uh, it's, it's tough medicine, and my heart goes out to the workers and, and the auto dealers who are in these tough times. But if we aren't able to do this, I believe it's only going to be worse in the future for the auto industry in America. So this is a way for us to, to clean up their balance sheets and, and make sure that they could be competitive in the world. Except for this bankruptcy now being called a surgical bankruptcy where the government has a heavy hand in this situation. And I understand now, we've been reporting for the last several days, that there may have been threats against some of these investors who didn't want to just go along with the Obama plan. Does that trouble you? Uh, that's very troubling, and I think we ought to be taking, Congress ought to be taking a close look at what th threats were made and by who in the administration. Uh, he, he, as a member of Congress, it's illegal, it's unethical for me to pressure a private company to do business with a private company, and that's what we have the administration doing, so it's wrong uh, to do that. Uh, but I, So I think we need to take a close look, and what happened in this matter was you have these bondholders, these lenders, who are part of the solution, loaning money to these companies. Uh, they're going to take a hard look at it and any business in the future as to what they're going to loan and what bonds they're going to buy, whereas you have the UAW that is part of the problem. Some of these contracts are just uh, stifling the auto industry, and they're going to benefit uh, from this pressure the administration put on them while the bondholders are going to be penalized. Yeah, it's interesting because when that news came out last week, there was, there was talk that the union had made some concessions, but the finger pointing went towards the other people in the whole deal, the creditors, right? Well, absolutely. And as I stated, uh, the bondholders are people that invest in companies that they want them to succeed. And, and when something goes goes wrong, uh, they want to try to be made as whole as possible. But yet you have a part of the problem, the UAW contracts, and their unwillingness to, to reduce their, their benefits and wages. And they get to benefit or they get a better deal, really, uh, from, this, uh, from this bankruptcy than the bondholders. Congressman, as somebody who was in the car business before owning a Chrysler dealership, will you call for an investment? investigation into what's being alleged here? Well, I want to have, make sure that Congress is taking a close look at it. I want to see all the facts. But yes, I would be willing if I think that the administration stepped over, over the line. And I believe at this point, from what I've heard and what I've seen, that they have in pressuring uh, one private entity to take a deal with another private entity. And again, here in Congress, uh, that's unethical. That's illegal. All right, Congressman Bill Schuster, Republican from Pennsylvania, former Chrysler dealership owner. Thanks for sharing your thoughts this morning. Thank you. Well, do you remember this story when Oprah Winfrey called out James Fry about his book, A Million Little Pieces? Well, now, Fry.